G'day, fellas, and welcome to Nomad FFA. It's not me being eliminated. It's somebody else being eliminated, fortunately. But we have got ourselves a hell of a little spot back here. Look at this. I'm, I'm starting to work it out more and more. I'm going over to the east corner of the map, or the west corner of the map, and we've got ourselves a beautiful little corner right here. We're going to start throwing down. We've got our king in the back pocket. So let's talk a little bit about today's challenge, because we've, we've just jumped into the game very, very quickly. Today's challenge is samurai only. That is correct. I'm not going to be using any micro, at least trying not to use any micro for them it's just pretty much a moving them all at the at the opponent and just watching as my samurai go to work now a couple of little rules oh have a look at this we got we got two villagers down here on the way let's uh let's let's bring all of our villas to this top corner okay it looks like he's backed out that's pink that's going to be one of the chinese players we will need to be careful of that worst case scenario we've got berries in the back uh we how do we deal now keep in mind we can actually make siege i probably should mention that we we can make siege uh that's all types of siege that's not just bombards or not just battering rams it's every single type of siege we can make it so that means mangoes so if we are dealing with you know a guy who's spamming out hand cannoneers or uh someone who's spamming out knights that we can go into uh, mangonels or we can go into reboldequin uh but other than that it's just going to be you know a move we're, ba we're basically playing the protoss uh, but in age of empires 4 if you if you're not familiar with starcraft well basically uh, the protoss are a civilization or a faction uh where you could just build a big army and then just attack move them across the map and you would just pretty much kill everything in your path uh whereas uh all the other civs they required a little bit more skill uh, needed a little bit more IQ than than six uh, for the other factions. I'll say that much as a Zerg player. I'm sorry. I'm. Ooh, 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 did you see that? 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 Get inside, everybody inside. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Can we get him? I don't think we can get him, but we're gonna try for it. Yeah, we did. We didn't get him. That that was red right there. Uh, so we're off to a good start here. We'll say that much. In the corner, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find my way through here. So we've seen pink. We've seen red. I'm, I'm smack bang in the corner right now, uh, but I'm not too scared, to be honest. I'm, oh my god, I'm loving this spawn. We've got so many resources in the back here. Really, really nice little spawn. Let's pick up our Tawara upgrade nice and early. We'll send our scout out into the middle of the map to go and get some, some very, very important uh, sheep. That's what we're looking for. Even though we've got a sheep at the back here, we'll come back later for him. Uh, we need to have a look exactly where Pink is. As I said, I'm kind of fearful of the Barbican, so we'll keep that in mind. Now, why is my volume so low? Is it just me or is my volume low? It's a bit hard to hear. No, it's fine. It's fine. I guess. Maybe I'm just a little bit loud. Do I check my volume? I could check my volume. I don't know if that would really tell us much, though. So we've got two sheep in the back. Let's let's keep scouting out here, this top side. King's always easy to scout with. Worst case scenario, you just sprint away and, uh, and you'll be fine. It's very rare that you're going to get surrounded in the early game here, but we will be paying attention to it. All right, so I'm going to look to put a forge down on the back here. Lots of sheep in the middle. Let's keep an eye on, on that king. Just to make sure no silly shenanigans happening. Another sheep, that's three. So we know where all of the sheep are. When it comes to relics, we've only seen the one so far. Let's throw our forge down. We'll just throw it down on this little position here. Now, there is, are some little mountains. I'm loving these corner spots playing as the Japanese. The Japanese feel like such a strong civilization to just kind of pick and then just chill with. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of trouble dealing with them. I just played a game actually quite recently. Was that a king going down? I heard a king going down. Oh, it was Teal. But nobody got the kill. What happened there? That's a... I heard the sound. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta turn up my in-game volume or something. Like, uh, th there's something going on right, wrong right now. Let me have a look here. Volume mixer... Age of Empires 4's max. Oh, my max volume is down. That's what it is. Look at that. There we go. All right. Oh, now you're going to get some volume. There we go. How long has that been down for? Maybe it was because I, I was playing PUBG a little bit earlier. Maybe that's what it was. Anyway, let's uh, let's think about what we're going to be doing this game and how we're going to be positioning our landmarks. Uh, so we're going to be going into the uh, Kura storehouse. So I'm thinking we probably want to put it back here. This looks like a decent spot. Not going to get a huge amount of farms immediately. I guess we could also go down here. This isn't a terrible spot either. Um, and then we can look to put our town center and all of our farms down here. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. I think we could probably do that. It is going to be far away from everything, though. And we kind of want to use it for picking up early wood. So maybe it's a good idea that we don't put it all the way over there. Um, I'm not going to be too fussed about it. The main thing that we just need to worry about is just getting enough wood uh, by the time we've aged up. That's pretty much it. So we're going to drop off these sheep... Let's go get the sheep behind our town center. In fact, there's a sheep here, a sheep here, and a sheep over here. That's not me map hacking. That's me remembering where the sheep were. So calm down. Uh, I think that's where they were. Sheep. There we go. All right. Let's make sure that we continue training vills. 
All right. So that's red. Red one kill. At any point, I'm just going to start adding different, like, kills to different things. Uh, Kuro Storehouse, do we go right here? I reckon this is probably an okay spot, but I like that. But I like this one. Alright, so that's two sheep, so third one must be down here somewhere. I reckon that's a good strategy. You type in into chat how many kills people have got, but then I just I just start randomly adding slightly more kills to the players that are threats. Like when if Pink gets like a second kill and he's already got two kill or one kills, one one kill rather, uh, I'll just be like three kills Pink, and people will be like, but there's only only two people have been killed this game, Drogo. Speaking of Pink, hey buddy, how's it going, man? Come on, come on, one more, one more, one more round. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Alright, so he looks like he's probably up somewhere in this position. I, I think we might just go down. He could look to Barbican us. If he Barbican's in right here, that will be very, very bad. Maybe we could wall across. Oh, we got another surrender coming through. That's going to be the Holy Roman Empire player who surrenders. Now, we haven't actually seen that guy. Dude, this is kind of what... This is, this is part of the cause for FFA, it really feels like. People are just always surrendering. Now, we want... We've got five on this landmark, so I'm going to put three onto wood. And then I'm going to put two over here onto food. So, I've got no idea where yellow or teal were. Is, is four on gold too many? It feels like it might be too many here. Oh, let's just do this. Much easier. There's red. Okay, so we've located red, or at least we've located the gold villages for red. So we want to make sure that we wall that little avenue right there. There's the red town center. Making sure we don't lose it. There, we've got some vills up here. Now we need to get our second storehouse down. You guys, okay, you guys have got enough. Lovely. Alright, do we go into the second level of Takazuki? Takazaiku? Wheelbarrow? We could, we could. Now we're only making samurai this game. Oh, we're, we're really housed already? I thought we'd be okay. Okay, so here is yellow. This looks like an Ottoman villager. It doesn't look like a Holy Roman Empire villager. Let's go into that second level. I'm keen. I'm keen to do it. We'll move over to, to uh, sheep in the meantime. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of berries, but it's, it's nice to get those eco upgrades. Um, now, we should go check in with pink. One of our big threats here is just going to be a barbican. As I said, you know, if there's like a barbican right here, uh, it's going to ruin our day. So we want to make sure that that does not happen. Um, but even if it does, like, we can't really do much. I mean, if you put the Barbican right there, what do we do, realistically? I mean, we probably just go build a lumber camp down here and then smile at him. I think that's it. And then we just get siege engineering. Like, it's pretty, pretty simple. And then just kill him with a, a battering ram and some some samurai inside. Yeah, that, that works. That works. I'm happy with that. All right. So when it comes to age ups, what are we thinking here? Are we going floating gate? We could go floating gate. We could go temple of equality. I'm kind of keen on going Temple of Equality. We've definitely got the gold to support Temple of Equality. Uh, I think that might be the play. I think we d we definitely look to do that. But is that technically... Are we making a military unit that we shouldn't be making? Maybe we should just be going... I mean, is that... It's not really a military unit, is it, right? Like, a, it could be. The Samurai is already just going to crush everything. We know that. We know what the Samurai does. It crushes. Let's get another villager over here. I didn't even... Re Look at this. This is beautiful little positioning right here. We've got red on that top side once again. Uh, now, when it comes to relics, we've only got the one relic to claim at the moment. The Holy Roman Empire player is also not in the game. There's pink. He's quite far away, actually. A little bit of a Rax already. Battering Ram already. Or not Battering Ram, but the Blacksmith. There's the main town center. Interesting choice. He's got a relic right here. I wonder what he's plant. Is he? Is he? He's, I'm hoping he's not coming for me. You're not going to come for me, are you, Pink? Surely not. Who are you calling, Shirley? Let's throw that down. We got, we got ourselves a three-way. It's a thruple. All right, A-Jump's coming through. Uh, let's just do floating gate. I'm feeling a floating gate right here. Um, so we're going to put it in. We're just going to start off. With our racks. I want to say our racks is going to go right here. A little bit of a weird spot. I know. So we're going to put it in the floating gate. And then we're going to go grab the relic. And we're going to bring the relic back. 
And do we just go straight into like samurai spam? Do we go samurai spam, we kill a couple people and then we just chill out and make vills? I think that might be the play here. We could look to go into Yoroshiro's. Maybe we, we put our forges back here. Maybe that's the play. I might just start now with that. So let's go one, two, three. Yeah, we can just put a forge there. We can still get our farms down here. I mean, probably want our farms around here. And now the samurai spam begins. All right, let's send a couple more vills out here. Those are sheep, Drongo, but you're so close. Even there, you've still got one sheep. It's hard to tell the difference between sheep and villagers sometimes. All right, we're the first one up to Castle Age. Keep in mind, two people have already left the game. So Samurai is out. So we could look... Do we look for an early Samurai elimination here? I think we might go for it. Who are we going to take out, though? I mean, Red's down here to the bottom. He's kind of chilling. I don't really like this Chinese player uh, just because he's playing the Chinese and Chinese... Is, is is kind of strong, right? Like you gotta you gotta respect those players. Uh, next one can come down over here, and then I guess you can come chill out towards the front. All right, we're gonna need more houses. Let's make a house over here. Barbican's coming up. Let's do some more scouting circles. Have we got veterancy through just yet? Doesn't look like it. We probably want to look for some eco upgrades, actually. Let's let's go ham on that. And I'm going to bring down here, just because I'm thinking we probably want... We probably want to get that town center up sooner rather than later. Pull these guys off for now. We can rally onto this. I don't mind that. Okay, we've located purple towards the north. That's the second Chinese player. All right, first relic is coming back. We probably want to throw this towards the backside. But I'm thinking what we might we what we might do is just put this down and then we'll go grab this one. So just remember the plan at this moment is not to kill him just yet. We just want to secure the relic. We don't know where any other relics are, so maybe let's keep on scouting. Let's get our next upgrade in. We're going to do an attack move up towards that position. House, let's throw that down. And we can start thinking about our next upgrades here. First Yoroshiro, second Yoroshiro is now coming out. So one of the things that we're going to look to do here is we'll look to delete this Rax once we get closer. Oh, has he walled? He's walled. We can tell because of the pathing here. All right, so we're just here for the Relic. We're not here to hurt you. We can also think about upgrades as well. That'd be a good idea. Hand over your relics and nobody gets hurt. I should put like a little asterisk at the end of that. Just be like, just just to clarify, hurt for the moment. We will we will hurt you later. Okay. We just want to tank up the town center here and bring that back. All right, and now we can throw in that relic. You know what? Where I'm from, walls, not the coolest thing. Let's get Odachi in. Let's get a couple more upgrades. We can also look to get... Whoa! That's one kill orange. So one kill red, one kill orange. Look at me keeping track, dude. What a gamer. What an actual gamer. So let's get these guys in. We need to get another house in. Let's get a couple of upgrades here. Probably get our upgrade back here. Throw another forge down. Because Uzi Bear has been eliminated. That's orange. One kill blue. One kill blue. Do we... Dude, this second town center is taking so long to come online. Like, I just have not put enough vills onto, onto wood at all. Alright, we can, we can get it up now. 
Maybe we put the second town center over here. It's not perfect positioning. Not a huge fan of it, but it'll do. It'll have to do. Okay, that's Castle Age. Speaking of Castle Age, one of the things I forgot to do was that right there. So I'm thinking we go and attack. Do we really want to go and attack Pink? We probably do. He's just reached the Castle Age here himself. Let's get a couple more upgrades in, and then we'll go kill him. Alright, so now we've got three Shinto Priests. Town Center about to come up. Let's get our next one up as well. We probably want to upgrade... This is the main TC. Let's just upgrade it. I mean, we probably want to upgrade this one for now, actually. For now. Now, can we make Benaman? That's a question. I feel like we probably should be able to make Benaman, just because... It's kind of important. Uh, that's a tough question. There's only one sacred site. We can just go take it. Alright, let's get a few vills over on food. Have we got our second level of wood gathering? Let's get that now. Castle Age also coming through for nine in the north. I think I want to clear out pink here. What do we got? Vils in here. Okay, we've run out of stone. Let's put this one down. Got the next Yoroshiro coming out. So this is going to be our fourth Yoroshiro. So we can look to get rid of the barracks after this. So we'll put that in. Got ourselves a nice little bit of gold starting to come through here. Three Shinto priests. Let's bring them into the fight. Let's get ourselves a little bit more farms going down now. Probably need a couple more houses as well, but where are we going to put the houses down? Maybe towards this top side, you know, somewhere out of the way. And let's get our lumber camp down. We can just get everybody over here on the wood right now. Let's go do a little bit more scouting. We still haven't found all the relics. Now, there could be crossbows coming through for this guy. And if that's the case, we might just want to take a chill pill. Maybe I should have tried to kill him earlier. But we've got some decent upgrades. I feel like we're just attacking with the same army that we attacked before. Nest of bees. A few crossbows in the back. Oh, I love the pathing. This is this is my favorite thing. I love pathing. Unironically, I love the pathing so much. King's in the town center. Keep an eye on him. Let's get a little bit of. Couple of crossbows over here. So we can just continue the flood right here. I want to delete that house, but... I don't think we've got the legs here for this. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but I just feel like we're probably not going to be able to kill him. I don't know if what I'm doing is counted as micro. We don't want to let him build up his forces, either. Uh, let's get our TC upgrades. 
Where's our stone? We've got a stone right here. Um, I'm kind of tempted to delete this, but I might do it after the kill. The bills are coming in here. Best of bees. Town center is burning. King. 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 All right, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Let's delete this bad boy. All right, so we got ourselves a nice little kill. Our macro has gone absolutely terribly. So let's fix that up. Let's check in on king locations for everybody. We've got Byzantines. We've got Delhi Sultanate. And we've got this one right here. We've still got the sacred site in the middle, by the way. We're not actually going for it, but we could. Let's make this again. And we'll throw this in here. We probably want to go for Imperial here. So the Byzantine player is also Imperial. So we could look to try and take him out. So, let's think about getting more upgrades in here. So, we want to get a nice little farming economy going here. So, we've got some decent gold income. Remember, we've got two. Let's delete you. For fuck's sake, dude. I, I I wish I could make these villagers just always go on wood. Just please stop idling on wood, villagers. Please. Somebody, please stop them. And we've got enough. I think we've got enough right now, enough gold. Uh, we can delete this house. Probably want to make a few more samurais and then go imperial. Uh, we also want to think about stone. So maybe let's move out onto the map and look to take stone. Because we do have our guy over here. So let's move out over here. That's our next Yoroshira coming through. We've got stone right here. Nice, Strongo. Let's keep these houses coming. Okay, so who's our biggest threat here? I feel like the Byzantines might be a big threat with their cataphracts. That could be a problem. Um, he is Imperial Age as well. So we want to try and get Imp and think about Reboldequins. Have we got our second level of mining? It does look like we do. Apparently we've got ourselves another... Another nice little upgrade. I'm going to make a banner man. And I'm going to say that this is absolutely fine. But... I think we just make one. If we just make one, what happens if he just gets killed? Maybe we can just make Bannerman, right? That's still fine, because it's only like one or two. I I'm going to say that that is fine for the challenge. Look at this wood line, man. This is a beautiful wood line. Um, we can max you out. So let's get that economy kicking. Probably don't need this one. The main thing I'm happy about is taking on the Byzantines. They don't actually have a charge. We probably want a few more barracks. So let's do that. Okay, that is going to be our Delhi player reaching Imperial Age. Right, we, we're just getting... We're getting all the... All the, uh, all the upgrades. All the upgrades. You know what I mean. Uh, we want to think about stone walls. I don't think we need a stone wall down here. Definitely want a stone wall up here, though. Let's go and do that now. I think it's this little segment here and we can also put an outpost up here and 
I wanted to go right there, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. All right, Takanashima Gunsmith. Let's go. Three minutes until Sacred Victory. I mean, I'm, I'm not really going for it. Just take it off me, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stonewall. So let's start with aggressive. Oh, there's a unit there. Oh, there's a unit there. And then here. And then I guess we'll just take off the front. Let's get a couple more houses in. One, two, three, four. Like that. And then I think once we Imperial upgrade, we go fully upgraded. Oh my god. Almost. I don't know why Blue scouted me out. Uh, let's go into our university as well. Uh, you, you guys gonna take that or, or not? Like, I can just go stand on the sacred side if you want. The more the merrier when it comes to walls like this. You can never be too safe. Any little bit of time you can buy yourself. I do have to be careful of up here as well. He's going to take the sacred site. That is absolutely fine. Go for it, brother. I'm not really here for the sacred sites. Oh, but you know what I am here for? Whoa! Nine has surrendered. What? Let's go get the king. Go get the king. Go get the king. Last known location was in the town center. Why would he surrender right there? Kind of weird. I'm just going to check that and make sure that that's not a problem. I mean, I could. I'm not going to, though. Right, so I'm going to build up tickets with the Takanashima gunsmith, and I'm going to wait to be on the defensive to actually, to actually do it. Oh, you guys keep going. You guys keep going. We want to get all of our upgrades here. Oh no, somebody's taking my sacred site. What am I going to do? Absolutely nothing. Alright, so I think we've got every single upgrade now for our big boys. We don't have this one right here. This is what we want, right? Yeah, increases the maximum number of Yoroshiro by plus two. We also want to get... <laughs> Dude, that, that's kind of crazy. I don't even need to worry about that flank now. Hello? Oh, there was an outpost up here? Multiple outposts up here? Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wall this bad boy off as well. I don't think we're going to need to go as Azham, but something that we will want to think about. Let's get an outpost over here as well. Oh shit, Lanch Connect! Okay, I was going to. Oh, I totally forgot about that. We need Rebaldequin. There's no two ways about it. My friends, we require the Rebaldequin. I totally forgot about Lanch Connect. I mean, I still think we'd be okay, but you can see he's got quite a bit in here. A nest of bees as well. Do we get like just cannon emplacements, like random cannon emplacements over there? We could, just for the memes. Okay, so we got Rebaldequin. Let's keep on building more Rebaldequins. There's another Randy. King, king, king. Is it kind of cheeky stealing that king? I don't know. Two kills green. Nobody say anything. If you say something, I'm going to be upset. Dude, Japanese are actually wild, man, when you think about like how good their economy is. We need to get our upgrades, though. We don't have... What upgrades are we missing? We're missing 
the we're missing tithe barns. Wait, we don't get tithe barns. Do we not get tithe barns? I just realized that's today I learned Japanese don't actually get tithe barns. Uh, we need to get health on our siege works. One, two, three, all at the same time, and then we go into upgrades. Just be really annoying up here. Maybe let's bring a couple more vills up here just to repair as well. That'll be funny as well. Can we get any more? I've got a market. So let's just quickly grab... Oh, we want chemistry, right? Oh, we don't need chemistry. I feel like we probably want... There's Brunei complete. Brunei? Bunrai. Oh, it just gives you two straight up, dude. It's like, here, have them. Thanks, dude. That's kind of wild, man. Alright, cannon emplacements are about to come through. We've got 17 Raxes. Here we go, cannon emplacements. Get them, boys. I hear cannon somewhere else. Could be red. Attacking. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, that's what we want right there. Oh, so so much value taking out the lunch connector. I don't think there's a way down there. All right, let's have a look and see if we can find that king. Oh. Oh, we're going to go backstab right now. We're going to go backstab. Hold on. Is it only... Is it only us three that's left in the game, right? Because Purple left, didn't he? And they're doing big fights here. I mean, maybe I just want to go be part of the big fight as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you can win the game, and then sometimes... <gasps> oh, I thought he got him. Wait. If he's attacking blue... Don't worry, blue. I will save you. I, I will save you slowly. I, I just want to bring him back, right? I don't actually want to hurt him. It's all a lie. King's still in here. He's spotted. Oh, the Bannermen are actually fast. Okay, I'm not sniping the king. Dude, I just wanted a big fight. I didn't know that you guys were over there fighting. I was expecting big things here. This is so sad, dude. I was making only samurai. I was expecting, you know, greatness. Where is the army? Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, we found that we've located the army. No way, he's still in here? Is that the fucking king, dude? Or was that a walla lol? Dude, is Red- Red's not even paying attention. His king is right there. Right, Reboldequins. Dude, that is- I'm not gonna lie, that is so sad. That is so sad. I'm- I mean, Red just left everything undefended. I can't help but feel like today on, on, on today's episode of, you know, Drongo versus Bronze League. I, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just saying that, like, I was expecting the greatest fight. I, I was gearing myself up for this huge engagement where, you know, it was going to be massive. And now we got to wait for this guy to get himself together. But the reality is it's going to take some time. Maybe, okay, here's an idea. What if we give him some of our samurai? Let's give him some of our samurai. And I know you're probably thinking, how are you possibly going to do that, Drongo? He's going to walla lol them from me. And I'm going to be like, oh no, what do I do now? I make more samurai. Alright, let's hope this doesn't backfire. Alright, here we go. Oh no. 
if it isn't the enemy at our doorstep. Oh. Would you look at that? I'm going to attack his, uh, his, his houses. House number one taken out. Hey, come here. I'm going to attack your wall. Don't make me do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What am I going to do? Oh no. Yes. Now we have a game. Ladies and gentlemen, just when you thought it couldn't get any more unfair. Now the end. Oh my god. Elite Samurai versus Elite Samurai. <laughs> Sorry. I had to do it, man. I can't just I can't just be taking victories out here from like from that. You know, I, I don't want to just walk in and just be like, hello. Goodbye. It's just it's not pretty. It's not pretty. All right. Let's get some Reboldequins out here, Randy. I hear ya. Bring on, bring on that top rope. Dude, look at our, look at our resources, man. We're actually like, we're so drained right now. All right. We're, we're doing all right. Do we wait for him to push us? Maybe we're, okay, let's wait for him to push us. Oh, I forgot about these guys. We're still up to a hundred samurai though. That's the thing. Now he's just, dude, we, is, as the Japanese, gold is never an issue. Like this is absolutely insane when you think about it. Like not once have I ever looked at my gold and been like, you know what? I should probably get more gold. Like it's just never happened. And I've got like giant gold veins in my, actually I, I have eaten all of my gold veins, haven't I? Most of my gold veins. And I'm out here. Got one villain gold. What do we got here? Increase the line of sight of all buildings by two tiles. Every three minutes, all economic units heal for 100% of their health. Over three seconds. Okay, why not? Sounds decent. Sounds all right. I guess we could do that. Should we wall this? Ah, we don't need to wall it. Look at this, look at this, look at this. He's on the way. All right, Reboldequins, I'm going to let you guys handle this. He's delivering the relics. Ah, fool me once. Rebolda Quins, go! No, no micro allowed. I can make units. Let's make units. That's not even close, dude. The Rebolda Quins are so good, dude. Honestly, I feel like this is why Japanese are crazy in the late game, because you can just instant spawn Rebolda Quins. He did bring me a couple of relics as well. Alright. We definitely need more food. I could come back here and make more food. Or I could come out here and make more food. Alright, let's go. It's time. He put up a good fight. It was a good fight. Should we give him more? Maybe we give him like half the army. Oh, that's an idea. Let's give him all of the, um, all of the samurai and then we just get the Reboldequins. I feel like that's fair. Maybe we get like a couple of little backup samurai. I can hear him. He's preparing. Could be an elephant though. It's always hard to tell the difference between elephants and preparing. Trust me. Growing up with, uh, well, not growing up. I should say <laughs> growing up with my sister. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant like having having two sons upstairs, just my my oldest just stomping around all the time. He, he weighs 13.9 kilos, but I tell you what, he uh, he makes an absolute stampede. All right, Rebolda Quinn coming in. Let's do a king check. Can I get a king check on R5, please? He's in the town center. It's not Stonewalled. All right, Rebolda Quins to the four. The Rebolda Quins. Look at them go, dude. Not allowed a micro drunker. Oh my god, dude, they're crazy. Let's pull you guys back. Set no micro. Did I just micro? I think I just micro. Whoa. Dude, oh my god, they are cracked, dude! What is the damage? 50 burst, or 50 damage, 8, 12 burst attacks? What's the range? It's 3.75, right? Yeah, 3.75. Alright. 
We fall back like this. Can we one shot a keep? No, nowhere near it. Oh, he's got 15. 15. 15 armor. Oh, he's got springlords. All right, let's do it. Let's finish him off. He does have the ability to walla lol. Okay, do we make the rule? If he goes for the walla lol, we have to let him... Like, we have to try and snipe it. I think that's fair. Charge. 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 I can't micro it. I can't micro it. Never mind. We're okay. King's inside the town center. Oh no, we can't micro. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't, dude. Oh, why did I do that? I'm sorry. I'm that that honestly wasn't even intentional. That that one. That one was not intentional. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, you can just click off the video now. Just click off the video. I don't want you to see the rest of this. <laughs> oh, that one was not intentional. I was actually trying to kill it, dude. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to do this right now. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm, j I'm just getting stoned for a backup wonder, just in case we have to revert to it. Just in case. We got stone around here. We got a couple of relics. Let's, uh, let's go pick these up. We got a couple of randies on the way. Even four Reboldequins is enough. Like, really. Oh, he's taking the sacred site. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That's a good spot right there. I didn't even. I just realized we don't even have the upgrades. Let's start with Greased Axles. Oh, we can't make Reboldequins from here. Oh, damn. We can make Siege, though, but I just want to make Reboldequins. I guess we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. So do we keep the Reboldequins to snipe the Wallalol? Like, the Wallalol is my my counter. All right, we have to neutralize the Sacred Site. We have 161. Maybe we make a few more Vils. Come on, Drunga, you don't need more Vils. Nice samurai army. Would sure be a shame if... Uh... This, that, that counts as micro, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, dude. <laughs> you know what? It's like the one counter to what I said. It's like... The Walla Lol. It counters no micro. Dude, Samurais are so good. They're so tanky, man. Get him, boy. Let's get a unit into the middle. Do we pick up the, that relic? We did. Let's go get the other one. Bring it back into here. Oh, we got it! That relic is too dangerous to be left in the hands of a Delix Ultimate player. We do have enough for a landmark. Oh, AR. Uh... I like that this guy's fighting all the way to the end. Mad respect. Alright, just unleash on him, Drongo. Just let him know you're the boss. He's taken out. He's, look at this. He's focusing down Randy. Randy, get back. Randy, watch out. No, Randy. Yeah, you're not, not so tough without your wallalol, are ya? 
There it is. We got him. We got him. He knew he had nowhere to run with his, without his Walla lol. And there, there it is. I'm not going to lie. Samurai only feels kind of crazy in, in FFA. What do you do to counter it? I mean, Lunch Connect is definitely one of them. Knights would be big. Hand Cannoneers, kind of, if they've got a front line. But even then, there's so many of them. They're just going to get up on you quickly. And with Odachi, like, we're doing 22 damage. Then with Odachi, it's 26 damage. And against a Hand Cannoneer that's got, like, three armor, you're going to be, like, six-shotting that bad... Oh, excuse me, that bad boy. Uh, we had a decent economy. 913 gold a minute. So that's with one, two, three relics and the six Yoroshiro. So a whole lot of gold just being generated for free right there. I mean, we did have one vil on, on gold, but I did feel like I had a lot of gold this game. You know, whenever I, whenever I play the Chinese, I feel like I never have gold and I'm just making palace guards. That's the other thing to note. Whereas here with the samurai, you're making a similarly costed unit and yet you've just got so much of it. So I think a large part is just, you know, by having these Yoroshiro's from the beginning, and I think this is something that is very underrated, so from like the 14th minute or the 15th minute into the game, I've got four Yoroshiro's just pumping me gold. This is 300 gold a minute for the rest of the game. So if we're at, what, what are we at? 44 minutes or something like that for this game? Yeah, 46 minutes at the moment. So if we assume that these guys have been up, up and running for 30 minutes, four of them, 300 a minute, you're talking about 9,000 gold over the course of this game already. And it's just, it's just sitting there. It's just ready to go. It's so nice to be able to flex into that if you need Siege, if you need a, a, a Wonder, uh, if you need any kind of upgrades or anything like that. And there were times that we were short on gold, 100%. Um, but I think overall, did we get all the relevant upgrades that we were looking for? Yeah, we did, I think. Yeah. Interesting about the no Tithe Barns thing, though. I totally forgot, or not even forgot, just didn't realize that, uh, that they don't get it. It's not a huge deal. I mean, people value Tithe Barns a lot. I don't think it's that all that great. Anyway, let's take a look at the timelines. Get a bit of an idea on where everybody was at. Uh, somehow, Blue went into a negative military count. I don't know how he did that. How did he... How do you go negative? Is it because he was converting my units? So he did a big conversion here? Oh no, I think he converted Red's units, didn't he? And it, 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 must, it must be not working the right way. Uh, and then for Villager count, I mean, we were miles ahead. So... Yeah, we can see, like, from the beginning, red one kill, one kill orange, one kill blue. Uh, and then, you know, we, we just don't talk about it. So let's take a look at their bases. I mean, th there was really nobody here that was even close to competing with us. Um, I think that's just, you know, the fortunate thing of... We, I, we very much set up this game for what we wanted. And I think this is really important to follow as a game plan. Starting out, you want to start with a very strong opening. Look to try and take out any nearby competitor quickly, swiftly. You don't want there to be a long fight. So the fight that I was having here, looking back on it, I probably should have just brought a couple of battering rams to it. Um, that's probably how I would have changed it. Um, and then from there, you want to fall back, look to try and uh, play a bit more defensive, get your town centers up. And then from there, look for Imperial Age, look for that boom, make sure you've got a safe eco, and then look to sit in a playmaker position, you know, call the shots, that sort of thing. Uh, and I feel like it, that worked pretty well today. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Japanese samurai only, no micro challenge. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.